अज्ञानतिरांध्य ज्ञान शला चक्षुन्मील कृपालुगुर नम व्रजवन चरी प्रपन्ना सद्गुपाद पद्म तेरणया तस् दिव्यादेश वाम्यहम सत्म सिंधु मकरंदसौधारा सारान जश्रम तश्रवदाश्रिते श्रीराधि के तव कदा चरणारविंद गोविंद जी वनधन शिसा वह नम कमलना नम कमल मिने नम कमल पाद नमस्ते कमले क्षण यो ब्रह्मण विदधाति पूर्व यो वै वेदाश्च प्रणोति तस्म तग्वंग दिवुद्धि प्रकाशम मुमुक्षुर्वै शरणमह प्रपद्ये भजो गिरीधर गोविंद गोपाला भजो गिरीधर भजो गिरीधर गोविंद गोपाला 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 भजो मुरली मनो हर नंद लाला 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 भजो मोर मुकुट मुरली वाला भजो मोर मुकुट ओ भजो मोर मुकुट मुरली वाला भजो मोर मुकुट मुरली वाला 
श्रीमद सदगुरु सरकार की जय श्रीमद युगल सरकार की जय 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 श्री राधे जय जय श्री राधे जय जय श्री राधे आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट गोपी प्रेम फ्रॉम सिक्स डेज ओवर हियर and so far it is explained that there are many levels of love the highest level is mahabhav although there are two more levels but they are not for the human beings the jeev can reach only up to mahabhav that is the mahabhav is the real form of gopi prem it was also explained that what are all these bhav a hint was given that it was what is prem sneh maan pranay rag anurag bhavish and mahabhav etc it was also explained then that the mahabhav devotees worship shri krishna and shri radha with madhurya bhav apart from madhurya bhav there are three more bhav which are which are the relations towards god dasya bhav sakhya bhav and vatsalya bhav the devotees of vasal bhav can reach up to anubha uh, anurag level the devotees of sakhya bhav reach up to only pranay level and das bhav devotees reach only in prema bhakti so above anurag bhakti there are two more classes भाव भक्ति जिस ऑल्सो कॉल्ड भावेश भक्ति एंड महाभाव भक्ति द माधुर्य भाव आई मीन्स ऑल दिस भाव वी हैव टू इस्टैब्लिश सम रिलेशनशिप विथ गॉड टू इंक्रीज अवर लव सो दोज डिवोटीज हु लव श्री कृष्ण विद माधुर्य भाव मीन्स Shri Krishna is my priyatam my beloved with this kind of bhavana this kind of sentiments we love shri krishna then it is called madhurya bhav and it is the highest bhav because it is closest of all 
like I, I explained that in Das Sibhav, the Jeev is here and God, Sri Krishna, his position is like this. Jeev is below, Jeev position is below Sri Krishna. In Sakhya Bhav, they come parallel. And in Vasal Bhav, Jeev position is higher than God's position. He becomes the child of Jeev. And then the Jeev treats Lord Krishna, the Lord of the universe, the father of the universe, as their child. So there is more proximity of relationship in Vasal Prem. What is Madhuri Prem? In Madhuri Prem, the devotee is not at the lower position or the equal position or the higher position. Then the Madhuri Bhav devotees become one with Shamsundar. There is so much closeness, there is so much intimacy in this relation that they forget themselves. It becomes hard for them to decide that who is Priyatam, who is Sri Krishna and who am I? Devotee says, Kanubhaye Pranubhaye Pranubhaye Kanubhaye Hirdayate na jani par hai pran hai ki kaan hai Gopi is seeing Shyam Sundar in front of her. But she looks towards Shyam Sundar Oh no, he is not Priyatam Sham Sundar, this is me, this is my life. And when she looks towards herself, oh this is not my life, this is Sham Sundar, no. Sham Sundar, no. She gets confused. Who is Sham Sundar and who is me? There is so much proximity of relationship. That's why they enjoy, the devotees of Madhuri Bhav, they enjoy the maximum ras of love because they are so close to God. They have no relationship. They are not confined to one relationship only. For them, Sri Krishna is all in all for, him, for them. I'll give one example of Madhuri Bhav. Sri Maharaj has written many parts of Madhuri Bhav, but I like this one. A gopi who heard a lot about Shamsundar's beauty, pastimes, attributes, etc. And she was listening that all the maidens of Braj, they are talking about Sri Krishna. They are admiring the beauty of Sri Krishna. They are reminded of the baby chicks smile of Sri Krishna. And she is thinking that what happened to all of them? Why are they talking so much about the son of Nanda? He is only an ordinary human being like us. He is also Gwala. Why they are admiring him so much? She was talking to her intimate friend. The intimate friend, she said that he is but I heard that his beauty is very magical. So if you want to escape yourself, better you don't go to him. The gopi says, why would I go? I have no relationship with him. Why would I go? No, suppose you go or su suppose uh, he meets you somewhere, then don't meet, meet him. No, no, why would I meet anyone who I see anywhere? But I am giving you one more clue that don't look at him. If you see, by the way, suppose you are going somewhere, on this street he is coming from there. And by the way, you may see. But be careful, don't look at his eyes. Why? Because the Brijvasi say, Sham bado chaliya bachi rahi gori. Sham bado chaliya bachi rahi gori. 
जो कान्हा तो है मारग रोके जो कान्हा तो है मारग रोके ए घूंगा नीचे किए रही हो गोरी यू हैव टू पुल योर वेन इफ यू सी हिम बाय द वे देन पुल टाइटली योर वेल डू डू नॉट सी टूवर्ड्स हिज आईज बट आई हर्ड दैट ही इज वेरी नॉट ई समाइम्स ही रिमूव द वेल एज वेल जो जो गोरी तेरो घुंगटा खोले ए नैना नीचे किए रही हो गोरी इफ यू वॉन्ट योर सेफ्टी देन डोंट लुक एट हिम इफ यू रिमूव्स योर वेल देन लुक टू डाउन वर्ड्स ओनली डोंट लुक टू वर्ड्स हिज फेस शी सेड ओके आई विल कीप दिस थिंग्स इन माई माइंड सो शी यूज टू गो टू यमुना जी एवरी डे टू हैव बात एंड she had to fetch water also from there so once she was going to yamuna ji and she took bath and after that by the way she saw that shri krishna was also there so she she saw him and she saw that everybody says that he is extremely beautiful probably they are very weak in character they get very much you know very easily fascinated on the beauty of someone but my character is very strong but still i will keep whatever my friend said to me i will keep that in my mind so what she, she did she tried to see him i please i, I should see once that why they are so enchanted on the beauty of shri krishna but she thought i should not look towards so she kept in mind and then when she came back from yamuna she said to her friend what that everything was ruined today all the plan is ruined what happened gayo hari mo pe jadu dar i was trying to escape myself for a long time but today something happened very wrong what gayo hari mo pe jadu ra he cast magic spell on me also the sakhi said i told you that don't go to him why did you go oh, why would i go i didn't go i went usually i go you every day to yamuna ji so i went to take bath to yamuna ji but what could i do he was there ho yamuna asnan karan gai tahara hanand kumar gayo hari mo pe jadu dar the sakhi saying yamuna is a public place anybody can can come so he, if he also came it is not strange but i told you that do not look at him the why did you look at him he said no i didn't look then how you are saying gayo hari mo pe jadu dar if you didn't see how bina you know without seeing his eyes you cannot be enchanted and she said listen to what happened because i heard much about his beauty that's why being very careful careful i made a space between my veil with the two fingers i and i did not open my face with the help of two fingers i wanted to have just once one bl- uh, glimpse of shri krishna just to know that how beautiful is he why all the gopis are admiring him so much so when i took and that time i found a time also when he was looking towards somewhere else that time i with the help of my two fingers i just saw him like this there was veil as well and i saw like this that's all piyadrig piyaras roop madhuri दृगन बचाय निहार गयो हरी मो पे जादू डार बट वॉट हैपन आफ्टर दैट दैट वॉज वेरी डेंजरस वॉट हैपन 
रसलम पट दृग पट घूट पट करण चाहत जनुपार दिस आइस वेन दे लुक टूअर्ड्स द ब्यूटी ऑफ नंद नंदन देन दे बिकेम सो डेस्परेट एंड इंसिस्टेंट दैट आई हैव टू सी अगेन बट आई स्टॉप दैम बिकॉज आई रिमेंबर your mantra that don't look at his eyes so my eyes were so desperate it seems like they will tear the veil and mingle with the eyes of sham sundar i was strong strongly holding my veil and i was stopping them no no any more once i show you once i showed you the beauty of sri krishna and you became so desperate to see him again if you will see once again then you will be out of control completely then i didn't let them see then how could he do it yes listen the whole story then you will know that why it happened so what happened after that i filled up my pitcher with the water and i took it i put it on my head and i proceeded towards my home so you did everything and you took your picture also and you uh, started going towards your house also then how could he cast the magic spell on you when everything was done the sakhi is saying what happened when everything was done and i turned to go towards my house then that naughty nandanandan he played a trick what from the back he threw a small piece of stone on my pitcher so i heard the sound of pitch, uh, the stone and it was broken so the stream of water was flowing as soon as i heard the sound of the stone i immediately turned because i was annoyed who is that mischievous boy who did it just to know i turned and this is the characteristics of the ladies no matter how long they have the veil but when they are to fight when they are annoyed then they don't don't care they just open the veil and who is there come they they do like that so in the same way when i saw that somebody has broken my pitcher now i have to go back home bring another pitcher then i will fill it up then i will go back again so much exercise will be increased for me that's why she says as soon as i turn to know that who is that not you why who did it he was standing at the right angle with his bewitching smile so as soon as i turned to see who is that i saw sham sundar he was smiling looking towards me and then what happened the pitcher was already flowing and me the nagri means the lady the woman a gopi also flowing from the eyes the tears were flowing from my eyes so jab ghat bhari chali ghar natwar tab chat ka kar dai mar gayo hari mo pe jadu dar इत कृपालु गागरी उतना गरी बहत प्रेम जल धार गयो हरि मो पे जादू डार दिस इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ गोपी प्रेम बट ऑल द जिवोटिस ऑफ माधुर्य भाव this is an example of madhurya bhav but all the devotees of madhurya bhav do not get this ras why 
बिकॉज दे आर थ्री लेवल्स ऑफ माधुर्य भाव साधारणी रति समंजसा रति एंड समर्था रति द डिवोटिस ऑफ साधारणी रति आर दोज हु लव श्री कृष्ण एज दे आर बिलवेड बट दे वॉन्ट टू लव हिम दे वॉन्ट टू हैव हिम एज दे आर बिलवेड for their own happiness they imagine that when he will become my beloved then i will enjoy so much i will enjoy his association i will enjoy talking to talking with him i will enjoy sitting with him they imagine a lot and that's why they love shri krishna nati sandra rate rasya sambhoge ichha vibhidyate because there is sambhog ichha means the desire of physical association that is predominant there if they get more association and love of beloved then this kind of rati this kind of love increases fast but if they do not get that much association with shyam sundar then the, their love do not increase or it increase very slowly kubja comes in this category kubja loved only shri krishna he desired to have shri krishna alone there were many devatas they also offered but she rejected everyone she was determined to have shri krishna only as her beloved so because there was the desire of self happiness that's why she was stopped only on the first level of love which is called prem she cannot go above this level when we talk like this about sadharani rati sometimes it seems oh it is reprehensible it's not good oh it's too bad why is she desiring self happiness only but shukdev ji admired I even mean, kubja as well he says look at her fortune she is so fortunate she is so blessed that there were so many kings and devi devtas they were attracted on the beauty of kubja but kubja rejected everyone दुराराध्यम समाराध्य सर्वेश्वरेश्वर यो वृणीते मनोग्राय मसत्वात्कुमनीष्यस सुखदेव जी सेंग इन भागवत दैट शी लव दुराराध्यम ब्रह्मा विष्णु शंकर द ग्रेट देवी देवतास are looking for one side of his grace and they are unable to get it and kubja loved shri krishna only and she attained the love of shri krishna as her beloved those the love of those is reprehensible is uh, condemnable yo vinite manograhi those who are craving those who are desiring for the material love their material love is disgusting but she is desiring the love only of shri krishna that's why she is blessed and her love is most admirable better than 
the next level of love of madhuri bhav love is samanjasarati in samanjasarati the devotees of Sam- samanjasarati they love shri krishna only and most of the time mostly they want the happiness of shri krishna only but patni bhava abhimanatvat guna di shravana dija they have a ego naturally because they love shri krishna as their husband and when shri krishna becomes their husband then sometimes really it happens that they have the ego that he is my husband and if this ego comes that shri krishna is my husband then the feeling of getting the rights as a wife also come in their mind so the samanjasarati is also very deep is high class love but still because sometimes really the feeling of self happiness comes in the mind that's why they can also not attain the position of the gopis and they cannot also attain the highest class of ras of maharas and they are stuck on anurag bhakti only there are two more classes above anurag bhakti that is bhavavesh bhakti and mahabhav bhakti those who love shri krishna exclusively only for the pleasure of shri krishna they want only to attain the seva the service of shri krishna why to please him they desire for love of shri krishna why to attain his service why to please him there is no other desire in their mind that's why their love is highest shri krishna says na paraye ham nirvadya sanyujam swa sadhu krityam vibudhayusha piva yama bhajan dur jar greh shrinkhala samrishya sadva pratiyatu sadhuna he saying if i want to be acquitted from their debt it is not possible even if i have attained the very lengthy span of life like the devatas if i perform any good deed in my life even then i cannot be released from the debt of the gopis why because the when all the other bhakt they are also dedicated to me but they have some desire so whatever they ask whatever they demand for i give them and thus i become free from their debt but the gopis never ask for anything and if i insist that you have to ask for something then their desire is my happiness they say i want to make you happy with my services so give me this vardan this boon that all my services may please you all the time then shri krishna says when they desire like this then to please them to give something to them i have to please myself so i have to give seva to them and with their seva i have to please myself thus my 
that is increasing every day because to to give something to them i have to please myself so my debt is increasing every day arjun asks the question that what is the relationship with the gopis he said what should i tell you because sahaya guruva shishya bhujishya bandava astriya satyam badami te parth gopya kimme bhavanti na sahaya friend guruva guru bhi hai shishy bhi hai they are my family members bandhu bandhav they are my wife they are my beloved all the relationships apply with the gopis so their love is completely selfless selfless means many other devotees are there sur meera kabir tulsi ana tukara they also love god selflessly there are many devotees but they have some relationship with shri krishna when they have some relationship naturally they want the sukh the bliss of that relationship suppose you are a das of shri krishna then you always willing to have service of shri krishna always willing to do service and you always want to be happy with your service that is your happiness if you get the service of shri krishna you are happy a friend always wants to make his friendship stronger and he expects because he is the friend of shri krishna then he is expects some rights he expects that i will be given this privilege etc these kind of feelings come in the mind maya yashoda she is mother naturally she also thinks about some rights of herself she wants to enjoy the vasalya prem only so there is a restriction a limit of their love and they want something special from shri krishna but the gopis do not have any relationship and they want to please shri krishna all the time he is just a priyatam in this material world the priyatam is the one who you love like a husband that person is called priyatam but the real meaning of priyatam is not that priyatam like you say the best good better best in the same way priya priyatar priyatam who is dearest to someone is priyatam so the go for gopis there is nothing else in their life except sham sundar everything they were doing everything only for sham sundar they themselves were dedicated towards shri krishna each and every work they had no other action any karma except the seva of shri krishna for his pleasure they have no other knowledge except that we have to do the seva for the pleasure of shri krishna they have no dharma no karma nothing at all they had no time to think about anything else except the pleasure of shri krishna and their love their service was natural it means it was not planned it was spontaneous and it was effortless also the service of gopis is natural and effortless we also serve someone so we have to plan that what should we do what time what service what kind of service we have to render 
But the gopis didn't do that. You know that. They were Ashtamaha Sakhis. And they had, they, they were doing some special kind of service. Like Champak Lataji, she was cooking food for Yugal Sarkar. Vishakha Sakhi, she was making all the garments. Every day they were playing new kind of pastime. And Vishakha Ji was preparing the garments for Shams and that. Rangadejvi Ji was preparing the ornaments. Chitraji was preparing different kind of juices for Sri Krishna. Lalita Ji was offering the pan. And there were many other Sakis. They were given different kind of seva by all the Ashtamaha Sakis. So they were, according to the Leela, they were preparing the canopy, the kunj, food, everything. They were preparing the seat where Yugal Sarkar will be seated. So the different gopis were doing the different kind of seva. But when Priya Pritam were coming, so their dresses, their ornament, their f different kind of food, decoration of the canopy, and decoration of the seat, decoration of the place, everything was so blending, so matching, as if they had a meeting that what pastime is going to be played today and what kind of makeup, what kind of decoration we have to do. They never coordinate, they never talk to anyone about it. They do these services spontaneously. And it matches. Why? Because these gopis have nothing in their mind except the happiness of Sri Krishna. That's why they are called Kaya Vyu Rupa of Sri Radharani. Kaya means body. Sri Rad Yesterday I explained what was the ideology of Sri Radharani's love? So, the, re, the veritable form of the love of Sri Radharani was the, the, the gopis. The gopis were the form of Sri Radharani's love. Gopis were mind of Sri Krishna. Mat sevam, mat saparyam, mat chaddham, man mano gatan. Jananti gopya partha. Nanye jananti tatvataha. Lord Krishna is saying to Arjun. The mat sevan, mat saparyam, mat chaddham, mat. Man Manogatam. What is my seva? What is my puja? What is my shraddha? And what is in my mind? Nobody else knows about it. Nobody can know what is in my mind. But the gopis knew it very well. Why? Because the mind of Sri Krishna had become the mind of the gopis. The gopis didn't have their own mind. Why? Because they already given it to Sri Krishna. It was totally dedicated to Sri Krishna. So the mind which was working in their heart, that was the mind of Sri Krishna. So because all of them were alike, all of them were thinking about only the service of Sri Radha Krishna which can please them. That's why, because all of them were the mind of Sri Radha Krishna, that's why their thinking was matching. Everything was matching because they were seeing what, what Leela is going to be played. Sri Krishna and Sri Radha, they were not telling that I, what Leela I am going to play. Everything was spontaneous.
But it was blending, it was so matching, because they knew everything, they knew what Sri Krishna is thinking right now. They don't have to make any effort for that. So this was the state of the gopis. What we do, we also surrender, but there is one lack in the surrender of other devotees. The many devotees, they have surrendered themselves. But there is one thing which is not done by other devotees, but the gopis did it. What is that? Surrender of the personality who is surrendering. Sab kuch samarpit karna hai aur samarpit karne wala, wale ka bhi samarpan karna hai. Aur samarpan karne ki bhavana, samarpan karne ki jo, ka jo gyan hai, wo bhi samarpit karna hai. Samarpan means samarpan of all what you have. Body, mind, intellect, everything. Plus, you have to surrender yourself also. Plus, you have to surrender the gyan, the cognizant that I have surrendered everything. Then the surrender is completed. And this knowledge of complete surrender is given by Lord Krishna at the time of Chirharanila. When he took away all the clothes of the gopis, and when gopis heard the flute of Sri Krishna, they came to know that my clothes are stolen already, and they saw Sri Krishna sitting on the tree, they requested. In the beginning, they scolded Sri Krishna. Hey, Kanaya, what are you doing? Why have you taken our clothes? Give us. But Sri Krishna was saying, I have no time. I am enjoying my flute. Why should I come to give your clothes? He was speaking like that. But when the gopis saw that he will not give us, then they started requesting, Kanahiya, look, we love you so much. We are so much surrendered to you. I will do everything, whatever you will say. Please, give us our clothes. How can we come like this? Don't tell us to come here exposed like this. If anybody would see, what will they think in their mind? So please, listen to us. Then Sri Krishna said, because these gopis already surrendered everything to Sri Krishna, and their only desire was that Sri Krishna should be my beloved. And each and every particle of my being must be given, must be uh, surrendered to Shyam Sundar only, and they all should serve Sri Krishna alone. This was the only desire of those gopis. Before Shirhan Leela, there was another Leela, when the gopis were worshipping Katyayani Devi. Every day they were going and worshipping, and at the end of the worship, they, they were requesting for a boon. What was their boon? Katyayan Mahadevi Mahayoginyadhishwari Nanda Gopusutam Devi Patim Me Kurute Namaha I wish this the purpose of our puja is Nanda Gopu Sutam Sri Krishna Kurume Patim. We want him as our husband, as our beloved. So you have to fulfill this desire. That's why we are worshipping you. And if they were worshipping Katyani Devi, then Katyani Devi had to reveal herself to give the boon. But Katyani Devi didn't come over there 
to fulfill their desire. Rather, Sri Krishna himself came there. And he said, Sankalpo vidita sadhyo Madhyanam samarchanam I know what you want. They were pretending that they are worshipping Katyani Devi. But in real, they were worshipping Sri Krishna only because they were remembering all the time when they were worshipping Katyani Devi. That time also, they were remembering only Sri Krishna. They never remembered Katyani Devi. That's why Sri Krishna came to give the boon also and they said, Sankalpo vidita sadhyo bhavati nam Whatever your manorath is, whatever your puja is, I accept. Maya numodita sosau satyo bhavitu marhati He gave this boon to them. Maya numodita sosau I have accepted your puja. And Satyo Bhavitu Marhati. Whatever you have demanded, whatever is your desire, it will definitely be fulfilled. Like so be it. He said like that and then he disappeared. Those gopis are still requesting Shyam Sundar that I can we how can we come like this? Then Shyam Sundar said, I know that you have sacrificed everything for me. You love me alone. You don't care for the opinion of the society, your family, your clan. You don't care for what the Vedas are saying, what the scriptures are saying. You are so much dedicated to me. But if you are completely surrendered to me, then why this hesitation is? If everything which belongs to you, then why are you hesitating in coming towards me? The gopis are saying, don't tell us to come without any cover. And Lord Krishna was saying that I have already removed the curtain of Ignorance from you, already removed. But I am seeing, why are you attached to the curtain? The curtain of more is removed. But still you are attached to curtain? You want to keep that curtain in front of me? And you know, you have knowledge that I am dwelling in each and every particle of your body, in the water, everywhere. Rather, it's not only that much that I am dwelling in each and every particle of this water also where you are standing. I am water. You know that. Then why are you hesitating? Gopis, you have to give up this curtain as well. Then you will attain, you will also see my real form and you will attain the highest bliss. I am ready to give it to you because your sacrifice is really admirable. That's why I am ready to give it to you. But you are not ready for that. You should know that you are saying that I surrender this, I surrender that, I give, I sacrifice everything to you. But the surrender does not get completed until the receiver accepts it. You are ready to give everything and the one who is, he has to receive, he is not ready to receive, then how would you do it? So number one, you should prepare yourself to surrender. You have to surrender, you have to prepare yourself. Otherwise, you want to Donate to the temple ten thousand dollars. How much do you have? Five hundred. Though you are not prepared to give that donation, you have to prepare yourself to fulfill this desire of donating ten thousand dollars. 
the same way, if you want to surrender yourself completely unto me, you have to prepare yourself. When you will be prepared fully, then it will be accepted from the other party. So you have to, after giving all these things, you have to surrender yourself also. Give up yourself also. And give up that memory, that knowledge that I have given everything. You have to forget about that as well. Then the surrender will be completed. We give everything. We give tan, man, dhan. But we still do not give ourselves. See, there were so many gopis in the Maharas. And Sri Krishna was giving so much love to all the gopis equally. But nobody was jealous. Why? Because they weren't seeing anyone. They were seeing Shyam Sundar only everywhere. Then what's the question of being jealous to anyone? Because they surrendered themselves. So now they cannot see anything. Because they are not... When they are surrendered, who will see? Who will think? Who will do anything? Now, whatever is done from their body is the desire of Sri Krishna only. So he taught them that you have to surrender yourself, Atma Samarpana. It is called self-surrender, Atma Surrender. So we have to do Atma Samarpana. The gopis did Atma Samarpana. That's why there was no jealousy anywhere. Because they were seeing Sri Krishna everywhere. They have only one bhavana, Sri Krishna should be happy. There is no, no matter how the difficult condition is this. Once, when Uddhaji went to the gopis and he said, you are foolish, why are you crying for Sri Krishna? He will not come back, now he has gone. And you are crying, you are remembering Sri Krishna so much. But he forgot about you. He does not even pronounce your name. He completely forgot you. So you forget about Sri Krishna. And now do the sadhana of Gyan, what I am going to tell you. You have to start the sadhana of Nirakar Brahma. He, when he was giving this kind of knowledge to the gopis, and later on, the gopi is convinced also, Uddhavji, that your gyan is incomplete. It will be completed, but you know what is love. And you will also attain love for Sri Krishna. So when Uddhavji gave this message, the gopi said, Udho kahiyo hari samujaye. Sri Krishna has sent this message. Now I'm telling you, listen to what message we are giving to him. And tell him very carefully in same words. What? Hama sab unahina kabahu bisari hai Ve chahe bisraya udho Kahiyo hari samujhaya. If he thinks, if he gives this kind of message, then we will forget about him. Okay, if he does not love us, if he will never come back, if he does not uh, uh, even remember our names, so leave him. We are not like that. We will not forget. If he forgets, doesn't matter. Because we love him. Madiyat Vat. With the bhav of Madiya. Shri Krishna is mine. We love him. He loves or not. We don't care. We love him. So, Ve mere priyatam praneshwar Ham avala ashaya udho Ve mere priyatam, Shyama Sundar is our priyatam, we loved him. He is our priyatam. 
So, if he for, forgets or he doesn't pronounce our name, he doesn't want to come back, because of this reason, we cannot forget him. The, this is the definition of love. Sarvatha dhvans raitam satyapi dhvans karane It could be the reason for the material beings that her husband is not coming, he left you, he married, got married with someone else. Then they leave their husbands. But our love is <coughs> true, divine love. We don't care he loves us or not. He is our Priyatam, Praneshwar. And we cannot love him, uh, we cannot leave him. Plus, we cannot, although we are crying for her, for, for Shamsundar, but we cannot leave our body as well. If you say, if you are so desperate to see Shamsundar, how come you are alive? Why didn't you die? He says, no, it is not in my hand. He is Praneshwar. He is the Swami of my life. My life is in His hand. We have given our life to Him. So if He would not wish, then we cannot even leave our life because it is also in His hand. So, Vue Mere Priyatam Praneshwar and Ham Abala Asahai. We are Abala. Why? Our Bal. Bal means strength. Our strength, our Bal is Sri Krishna. So, when Sri Krishna is there, we always depend on Sri Krishna. Our bal is Sri Krishna. If Sri Krishna is not here, then we, are, we have no strength. As high, without him, we are helpless. But you should know that he is mine forever. It's not that, that we established this relation for only this life. No, no, no. He is mine forever. That's why. Tell him that we are not going to leave him. And if he wants to leave us, he can leave. They send this kind of message because this is the philosophy of love. Once the gopis said, Mahaprabhu Chaitanya has written very beautifully that the gopis challenged Uddhavji, Sri Krishna can do only three things with us. What three things? Ashle Shiva. Padratam pinashtuma madarshanan marmahatam karotua yatha tathava vidadhatu lampato mat prananathas tusa evana paraha. He can do only three things. Ashle Shiva. Either he will embrace us and he will fulfill our desire. Alishva. Or Padaratam Pinashtumam. Or he will become neutral towards us. Who are you? Why did you come? Get out from here. He may say like that also. Or Padaratam Pinashtumam. Adarshanan Marmahatam Karotuva. Or he will never come back. He will leave us to bear the pangs of separation only. Tell him, in all these conditions, 
only he will be our priyatam we are not going to leave him we are not going to change our priyatam in any condition shri maharaj ji also has written the same thing in very simple words in his premdas madira प्राण धन जीवन कुंज बिहारी तुम तो रहे सनातन हमरे हूँ रहे तिहारी प्राण धन जीवन कुंज बिहारी श्याम सुंदर इज माई बिलवेड हम तो रहे सनातन तुम तो रहे सनातन हमरे यू आर इटर्नली माई लॉर्ड कृष्णा इज द प्रियतम ऑफ ऑल द लिविंग बींग्स सिंस इटर्निटी तो तुम तो रहे सनातन हमरे हूँ रही तिहारी एंड आई ऑल्सो बिलोंग टू यू एलोन दैट्स अ मैटर ऑफ पार्ट दैट before we didn't know that i belong to you alone that's why i didn't love you now i know that i belong to you alone that's why i love you too ha to rahi ha hu rahi tihar so now if you don't come so ur lagay bhuj bhari hari chahe पूर्व हुआस हमारे प्राण धन यू कैन डू आइदर यू कैन एम्ब्रेस एस यू कैन प्लीज एस लाइक दिस भुज पूर्व हुआ आस हमारी और चाहे मोही तड़पाओ मोरी मुख और यू बिकम न्यूट्रल आई डोंट नो हु यू आर वाई डिड यू कम यू कैन से लाइक दैट ऑल्सो so either you become neutral or pad thukra ho mari or you leave me forever what else can you do so do whatever you want but we have already accepted you as mine because you are mine now we understand we know that you alone are mine so we love you alone we cannot leave you yah kripalu hai reeti preeti ki chima ji saying that if you love me then i will love you if you don't love me i will also not not love you if you leave me i am i will also leave this is the attitude of a businessman jehi vidhi piya सुख पाहु करहु सोई निज सुख चाह व्यापारी वॉट एवर यू लाइक द बेस्ट यू डू इफ यू वॉन्ट टू एम्ब्रेस डू दैट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बी न्यूट्रल दैट्स फाइन एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गिव द पैंक्स ऑफ सेपरेशन फॉर द एंटायर लाइफ दैट इज ऑल्सो गुड फॉर अस जही भी दे पियो सुख पाओ वॉट एवर गिवज यू द हैप्पीनेस द मैक्सिम हैप्पीनेस डू दैट दिस इज अवर एम ऑफ लाइफ दिस इज अवर प्लेजर इफ यू आर प्लीज सो इन वॉट एवर वे यू अटेन द मैक्सिम प्लेजर यू डू दैट दिस इज अवर रिक्वेस्ट बिकॉज निज सुख चाह व्यापारी द बिजनेस मैन वॉन्ट्स self happiness we are not looking for self happiness we always want your happiness so do whatever you like yah kripalu hai reeti preeti ki this is the principle this is the philosophy of love so the gopis love is like that they do not want anything else at all all the time they want to serve shri krishna for the pleasure of shri krishna alone so completely <coughs> selfless love is gopi prem 
And one thing we have to add in it, not only completely selfless love, because there are many meanings of selfless love, means where there is no desire of self-happiness. As I said, Sri Maharajji defines this Kopi Prem, the Prem of Sri Radharani, as Sasukha Kamana Gandha Lesh Shunya Shri Krishna Sukhai Katatparya Mai Nishkam Seva. This is the definition of Gopi Prem, where there is no trace of self happiness. And we have to understand it very minutely. See, there was a gopi. And she noticed that Sri Krishna becomes very happy when he sees me in white garments. Then she decided to dress up her only in white color. She dressed up with the white sari and white flowers, everything was white. They were, she had all kind of makeup with the flower, white flowers and she took one white lotus flower and she went to Sri Krishna. She thought now Sri Krishna would see me in all white Sringar then he will be very happy. When, he, when she went, Sri Krishna was sleeping in a kunj. She thought, my Sringar with white flowers. And if he will not get up soon, then they will all quench, they will lose their beauty. So the flower, lotus, which was in her hand, she was doing like that and going around Sri Krishna. In between, Sri Radharani came over there, she saw, now what are you doing? Then she said everything because he likes me. He likes to sh see me in white uh, makeup. That's why I wore everything white. But he is sleeping. So I am doing this uh, uh, the lotus because uh, the drops of uh, this parag will go on his face, then probably he will get up. Sri Radhani said, no, no, no. It is wrong. It is against the philosophy of love. This is not gopi prem. The gopi prem, the prem says that tat sukha You have to be happy in his happiness. She said, that's what I am doing. I want to make him happy with a white dress, with a white uh, makeup and everything. She said, no, no, no. This time, he is enjoying his Sleep. Let him sleep first. Whenever he will get up, then you can show your white makeup, white shingar. But by that time, this the, all the flowers will lose their beauty. Then go again. And do ma your, your all makeup again. If, it, if you have to do it hundred times, two hundred times, one thousand times, keep on doing to please him. But don't be a hindrance in his sleep. He's enjoying the sleep right now. You cannot do that. So this feeling of uh, self-happiness or giving happiness to Shyam Sundar alone is very minute and we have to under, understand it minutely. So in brief, this is the introduction of Gopi Prem. Yesterday, I was telling that there are a few gopis who go up to the level of rule bhav. Not all the gopis of Madhuri bhav or Samarthalati go up to the level of rule bhav. But Lalita, Vishakha, etc., there are many gopis who go up to the level of rule bhav. And yesterday, I was also explaining there are some characteristics of rule of how. And in this connection, I explained 
निमेशा सहता कल्प क्षणत्व एंड आसन्न जन हित विलोडनम देर वर थ्री कैरेक्टरिस्टिक विच एक्सप्लेन यस्टडे निमेशा सहता मीन्स वन द स्मॉलेस्ट द टाइनिएस्ट टाइम ऑफ वन मिनट इज कॉल निमेश दे कैन नॉट बियर द सेपरेशन ऑफ फ्रॉम श्री कृष्ण इवन फॉर ए निमेश आसन्न जन हित विलोढ़नम मीन्स वेन देर लव इंक्रीज सो मच दैट इट इफेक्ट्स द पीपल हु आर प्रेजेंट ओवर देयर कल्प क्षणत्व वेन deprivation from darshan is only for a moment a moment seems like a kalp when they are deprived from the darshan of sham sundar that is called kalp chhadatvam there is one more thing to be understood that that sarva bhavena ikshepanam सर्वभावेन मीन्स दिस गोपी गिव अप एवरीथिंग वॉट्स एवर एंड दे ऑलवेज रिमेन वेरी हैप्पी बाय डूइंग दिस दे डोंट केयर फॉर एनीथिंग एज आई हैव एक्सप्लेन बिफोर एज वेल टुडे दैट दे डोंट केयर फॉर द रूल्स ऑफ द फैमिली or clan or the society or the country or the vedas they don't care for anything they are always happy to think about shri krishna like the gopis say you have very little time so i will just go directly Shri Maharaj ji has also written for this kind of feeling of the gopis a gopi is very happy and she is saying sakhi mein giri dhar haath bikani chaki piya ras roop madhuri log kahe borani सखी में गिरिधर हाथ विकानी शी सिंह दैट नाउ आई डोंट केयर फॉर एनी थिंग बिकॉज आई एम सो मच लव इन विच श्याम सुंदर दैट छकी पियार रूप माधुरी आई ऑलवेज थिंक अबाउट द अनफेथमेबल ब्यूटी ऑफ श्याम सुंदर so when i am thinking all the time about the beauty of sham sundar my mind is totally engrossed in thinking about the beauty of lips the beauty of eyes the beauty of cheeks the beauty of forehead the beauty of arms the beauty of chest the beauty of uh, his charan when i'm all the time when i am thinking about shri krishna then i cannot hear someone else because mind is the main worker and when mind is busy with sham sundar and somebody is calling me malti oh malti malti cannot hear because she is thinking about shri krishna somebody is telling something somebody is saying we i don't know all the time i am thinking about shri krishna so sometimes i think about sham sundar some talk some some uh, sham sundar some past time so sometimes i laugh loudly sometimes i cry very loudly sometimes i start dancing sometimes i sing and what other people are thinking what other people are saying i don't know about anything then what happens log kahe borani she has become insane because in this world only the insane people do that they don't recognize their name they don't recognize their home they don't recognize their parents they, they know nothing they forget about everything in the same way when the gopi forgets about all other things only beloved is in their mind then they they are also called insane in this world and the gopi is saying 
रोम रोम रमी रहो श्याम रस ऑल द टाइम बिकॉज आई एम थिंकिंग अबाउट श्याम सुंदर ऑल द टाइम दैट्स वाई इन ईच एंड एवरी पार्टिकल ऑफ माई बॉडी देर इज ओनली वन थिंग वट इज दैट श्याम रस आई एम इंटॉक्सिकेटेड विद द नेक्टर ऑफ श्याम सुंदर लव because of that rush i don't know what is happening in this world i am always intoxicated with the love of sham sundar this is the condition of the gopi trina samay dari ved mariyada lok laj kul kani because i have attained such a big thing i have attained the love of shri krishna i am so much intoxicated this intoxication of the nectar of love of sham sundar is so strong that it does not know to come down it always increases it never comes down when the people who take intoxicants in this world the liquors etc they forget about all things but because their liquor is tamsi that's why they start acting in tamsi way they speak bad words their actions are their actions are vulgar their words are full of vulgarity everything is wrong way everything is bad because they take tamsi and here she is having divine intoxicant divine liquor that's why everything which is happening in his mind and body is divine she is enjoying the divine bliss and she does not care trina samadari ved maryada she rejected completely the rules of the vedas in the vedas it is depicted that for all the human beings that how should we behave what should be our conduct and behavior according to the people but i don't care what is written in the vedas lok laj kul kani i have discarded the rules of the family clan etc as well see the one who attains just god realization either he is at the first level of love or second or third they all discard the orders of vedas brahm with shrut mudni before god realization we have to respect the vedas we have to follow the instructions of the vedas but brahmavit when you have realized god then brahmavit walks on the head of the vedas now he doesn't have to care for anything so the gopis are also saying trin samadari veda maryada lok laj kul kani we have given up all kind of decorums of the society because i have attained the highest thing she has attained that thing for which brahma vishnu shankar they are craving they cannot attain even a drop of that kind of love the gopis when at the time of maharas when mahalakshmi saw the ras the maharas then she was also willing to attend the maharas she requested shri krishna that i also want this ras shri krishna said no it is not possible your love is not that high level only those who have no other desire except my pleasure only they can enter the ras then she observed the austerity for thousands of years yadvan chaya shrir lalana charat 
तपो विहाय कामान सुचिरम धृतव्रता ब्रह्म ऑल्सो ही ऑल्सो हैड ऑस्टेरिटी फॉर सिक्सटी थाउजेंड ईयर्स षष्ठी वर्ष सहस्राणि मया तप तम तप पुरा नंद गोप ब्रज स्त्री नाम पाद रेणुपलब्ध है He did not observe the austerity to attain maharas ras. No, to attain the food dust of the gopis who were having maharas, but he could not. That ha api namay aprap tas tasam vai padre dava. Still, I could not attain even their food dust. It is so inaccessible. It's so special. So. This is also a characteristic of the gopis that they give up all other things. They just always remain in ecstasy of beloved Sri Krishna. So, in uh, brief, I explained all these things about the gopi prem. As I said in the beginning, gopi prem is such an ab- obscure subject that even. the greatest rasik saint could not explain it fully i have no knowledge at all the rasik saint experienced first and they then they depicted the secrets of gopi prem i have not experienced i have no idea of gopi prem but by the grace of shri maharaj ji whatever i heard in theory and whatever i could get whatever i could understand i explained that to my capacity maybe whatever i said in the whole subject maybe a few things are wrong or you didn't like it so it is most possible but whatever i understood from the uh, lotus mouth of shri maharaj ji whatever i heard and whatever i remember there are many things by the grace of shri maharaj ji i know but when i start talking about that sometimes i forget also few very important points as well so i beg a pardon for that and i believe that uh, because these are the words we, this is the philosophy of shri maharaj ji you must have enjoyed it a, a little bit thank you bolie shri mat satguru sarkar ki jai लाडली लाल की जय राशेश्वरी श्री राधा रानी की जय भक्ति धाम मनगण की जय निकुंज विहारिणी अलबेली सरकार की जय 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 श्री राधे जय जय श्री राधे जय जय श्री राधे as i was saying the subject of gopi prem is unlimited and and ineffable and when i speak that sometimes i forget some important points as well and whatever i uh, spoke over here there are some more things to say about the gopi prem and uh, by the way because uh, i am going tomorrow to houston and from tuesday i will speak over there also i will try my best uh, to explain more about the gopi prem if it is possible for may, any one of you you can reach or you can uh, listen to it in youtube i think they will give it on youtube radhe radhe <laughs>